Hi there, it's come to my attention recently, and this isn't new, but a lot of people with this channel, uh, Steve News, uh, people are being unsubscribed. Um, my friend Hank, I think, is unsubscribed uh, four times or something. And you know, it's, it, it's funny, because I've been promoting my film, The Spark, which is, unless you've seen it, it sounds like smoke, but it, if you watch it, you'll see how relevant it is to what we're going through right now. Now, in that film, I, I didn't address um, a pandemic, but I certainly addressed everything else. The scientists, the labs, what they create, chimeras. It was, it's all like cloning. It's all in my film. I'm a creative person. When I created The Spark... I was also trying to make a really interesting movie. It wasn't a documentary about targeting. Uh, it wasn't a documentary about cloning or, or anything else. It was really, it was a creative endeavor. Now, because I've had so much theft, because I have computer problems, because a lot of strange things have followed me around for 25 years, I wrote the scenes as we went along, but I had it all mapped out in my head. So I'd see a friend on the street and I'd say, do you want to be in this film? Um, what's it about? Well, it's about such and such. <clears throat> Are you around tomorrow at noon? Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to write, go home, write three pages, come back. I'll, I'll give you the pages. Memorize it as best you can. And, and we'll shoot it the following day. That's pretty much how we made the spark. Um, but... As far as like what's like where my inspiration was it all based on things happened to me no especially at the end with the scientist a lot of that and I you know I don't hate to say it but it was it was divinely guided um, I wrote some things in the spark and I made it I started making the spark five years ago and we made it for two years but I started making things back in 2015 about the spark that I really didn't have any concrete evidence that this actually it's existed or you know it it's it was divinely guided and now in 2020 wow it's like I'm talking about the stuff that's going on my point for this video is I've been on Twitter I don't do Twitter much and I've been trying to encourage people to see the film um, if they're broke, I'll, I'll, I'll offer to try to get them a uh, VIP uh, link, a pass, a code that you use on Vimeo. But I'm buried on Vimeo. Now, that's nothing new for Kim and me. As early as 2011, we were living out west, and I did a, a video with Sonia, girls, Sonia from the Truther Girls, and we looked at the numbers, the, the views, and in the next morning, we weren't planning this, but we, I, I said what the views were, and Kim saw the screen, what the views were. Well, the next, next morning, I happened to open the computer up, and it was on that same Truth to Girls um, you know, interview I did. It had gone down. The view count had gone down like 200 views. It was down. So I've known for quite some time that views, anything related to me, it gets buried, and they'll even cut back and shut the views down. Popular interviews I've done, I've had people's whole channel shut down. Like with Jim and Angie at Victor's Libertus, Libertus. So what I'm making this for is to let people know, okay, if you don't know me and you haven't seen any of the stuff I've done or other interviews, such as an interview with Sean uh, Stone, you may look at the view count and go, oh, this guy's kind of a loser. He only got 200 views on his video. Um, you know, this is a continual thing that has happened with me. Please tell your friends to watch The Spark. Please let them know it's something that addresses what we're going through now. Um, and the review for my film, this is the last thing I'll say, was written by Thomas McFarlane, who I didn't know at the time, and I didn't pay him any money. Hey, man, how about writing me a good review? He wrote a brilliant review of my film. I don't even know if my, my film is deserving of some of the praise that it, he gave it. And he was, it was on Medium. Um, and he uh, was even nominated for Best uh, Film Review. Well, guess what happened to that, his, his account on Medium? It got shut down. So he had to move the review to another place, mine, Minds.com, I think it is. Anyway, my point of all this is that don't judge me because I don't have hardly any Twitter followers 
or my views, I don't get many views on my videos. I get buried and people get unsubscribed all the time. And this isn't new. This has gone on since 2010, maybe before. So please don't be discouraged if you see that. And as far as the QAnon thing, I don't follow Q really. I don't know about this stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm still pissed off because Trump hasn't arrested or thrown her ass in jail. Like, so for, I'm not like, I, I'm not just blind faith in it. I don't just follow anyone. I try to extract information from all kinds of different sources, even if sometimes the source, like an Alex Jones, is someone that I don't, I don't trust. And I think we all need to do that. We need to collectively have not cognizant, cognitive dissonance, dissonance, but like have an awareness, be able to extract what information, not cherry picking, but you, you take things that, that feel right. And that's how you basically piece together, um, you, you know, um, how, how you see this world and how you see this unfolding. Anyway, uh, that's all I want to say. Yeah, I was going to be pretty pissed off. Because I'm fed up with feeling like such a loser. It's like, oh, come on, will you watch my film? Will you watch a video I did? So I kind of gave up for about almost a year and hardly made any videos because of it. And trying to enlighten people about what targeting is, um, it's, it's, other than jo Dr. John Hall and a, well, a few others, um, I don't have much contact with the TI community anymore. I don't, I don't know how much it's been infiltrated, and at this point I don't really care. I'm on my own ship, and I'm going on a course that I navigate, and hopefully I'll arrive where I'm supposed to arrive. And hopefully I'll live long enough, and I can't have a feeling I will. So that's it.